So living in places like Baneo is an example of why you need to have the right to bear arms because the closest police from here is probably 20, 30 minutes away. So if you have like a home invader, what are you gonna do? You're gonna wait for the police to arrive? You can't, it's impossible. So people out here, I bet 90% of them have guns. And it makes sense because you gotta protect your land and you gotta protect your family. You gotta protect what's yours. And our founding fathers, they knew this. And that's why they said the right to bear arms shall not be infringed. And boy, oh boy, are they being infringed. And all we gotta do is look at Australia to see what happens when guns are taken away from we, the people. That's crazy. Real size pond in my backyard, eh? Yeah, so this family here has a pond right in front of their yard, which is a nice luxury. And they got some horses too, apparently. So, living in Bunel, do you know your neighbors out here? No. <laughs> Nobody? Nope. Everyone keeps to themselves, and I like it that way. So that's part of the allure of living out here, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely not like New York I City. I met my neighbor across from me, though. He was really nice. He's like, I can fix anything. Let me know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> got a handyman. Yeah. I feel like if you live out here, you have to kind of be like a handy person since... Like the police, help is probably far away, so you gotta learn to be very self-sufficient out here, which I am currently not. So I don't think I would do very well out here in the beginning. All right, so tell me about these uh, HOAs. Ain't no HOAs out here. So you could literally do whatever you want on your land. Yep. There's no guidelines. Nobody there's no board of directors. You to cut your grass. <laughs> so it's just free for all. Free for all. Wow. So if you wanted to build like an amusement park, let's say on your land, you could do that. Yeah. A redneck one. And, no one could say, and nobody could say a word to you. Nope. So for those of you unaware, HOA stands for Homeowner Association. And uh, those fees range, you know, in Florida from how much? Like 300 bucks a month and up. But if you're in places like New York, if you buy a property, for example, let's say for 700K in Manhattan, your HOAs are going to be between one and $2,000 a month. And uh, let's say one year... The building says, we're gonna install a new facade because of you know rust or we wanna fix the front of our building. Then all of you get hit with an extra fee so that you guys cover the cost of that repair or whatever it is. Uh, so the cool part about living in here is you get your mortgage, you get your land and that's it. Simple and it's clean. You have to mow your own lawn. <laughs> so no maintenance. Yeah, you have to do all that yourself. Yeah, everything's on you. you guys are walking through uh, Bunnell. We're seeing like homes that are homes that we're not living because these people clearly either don't have the means or they just don't care or they're drugged out of their minds. So, so they're not, they're not taking care of what needs to be taken care of. Let's put it that way. So our nature guide, Katie, home center page 213, is gonna be trying some of these beans. All right. I don't know what these are. Yeah. But you've done it before. Yeah, I didn't die. You wanna see so, it? It looks like just a little regular little bean. All right. They're good. They're sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Let me let me let me try one. I'm gonna steal some of these and plant them in my. You should. In my yard. All right. Bean. Yeah, it tastes like um. It tastes like a raw string bean. Yeah. Not bad, huh? So you guys look. I'm living off the land. Hey. <laughs> so there it is on the plant. So you guys can see it. If you know the name of this plant, drop it in the comments. Yeah. So more land for sale. If you guys want this plot of land here, contact Dottie Dills. <laughs> There's a number, you can you know, pause this and grab it. So speaking of for Great sale, story. you've Snatch been here. Yeah, you've been here how long? Uh, four or five months. Four or five months. And have you already seen a lot of people starting to move in? Seems like it. Yeah. How does it make you feel that they're coming into your area? I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it, right? And you think it's all a result? They better be patriots. They, better be, they probably are patriots. Oh. This is a neighborhood guard dog. Just do what he's supposed to do. Protect the field. Protect the home. That's a good boy. <laughs> That's a good boy. My guard dogs. Yeah, let's go. More land for sale, guys. This is uh, Cindy Costa. You can contact her. Check it out. It's a nice piece of land. What do you know about this property? Anything? You like that house? Yeah, I like it better than mine. It's pretty nice. And that's a prefab home, right? Mm -hmm. 
How much do you think that this piece of land costs right now? I don't know. It depends on how much land comes with it. It doesn't look like it has as much land as mine, though. But they have all that. So what's your guess? And so then we'll go online and, and fact check you. 220? 220K for this, guys. Look, you get a little lands, trees, nature, mm -hmm. prefab home. Your own well. You get your own well, which she has too. She got her own well. 220K. Let's see if she's right. So we just fact checked her estimate of the house. 215900 Nice. So you ended up saving about four thousand dollars if you went on the actual listing versus what her estimate was. So I'm impressed that she was that close to the actual price. Seems like she uh, she knows Benel pretty well. And you have a realtor out here, right? Yeah. So if you guys um, are interested in living in places like Benel, uh, you can contact her realtor. Do you think your realtor would be okay with her link in the description? I think so. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. If her realtor is cool with the free promotion I'm giving her, we'll put a link in the description below so you can contact her for all of your real estate needs. So in Florida, how much money do you put down for a property out here? I put down 10000 So like, it's like 5%? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You could put down 10K in Florida on a 200K property and you could move in. In New York, you got to put down 20, 25% cash. And properties there are like at least half a million dollars. So in New York, you're looking at six figures down up front before you move in. Here in Florida, you can move in with like five, 10K. It's crazy. So if you're looking to become rich, just move down to Florida. Not as extreme as when you move to Thailand or Mexico, but you still definitely will have a much better uh, earning power down here. Here comes the dog. Here comes all of the dogs. Wow. All right, all right. We just woke up the neighborhood. All right. All right, we're backing away slowly. Back it up. 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 Back it up slow. Yeah. Yeah, just back it up. Yeah, and back it up. Okay. All you're gonna do is just, we, 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 we just back it up, okay? That's it. Back it up. That's right. Back it up. Yep, just, just back it up. No, 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 just back it up. So instead of having like we own gun sign, they just put a gun on their gate, which is awesome. What is your favorite thing about living in Benil? Benil? Um, I can do what I want, basically. With so the my freedom? Property. Yeah, All right. I can put whatever I want in there. I like the space. The people are really friendly out here. Yep. But they also keep to themselves, so no nosy neighbors. Um, the fresh air. The stars at night are beautiful. That is very true. You could actually see the stars out here. Mm -hmm. And what is your least favorite thing about living in Benail? <laughs> the drive. It's like a 20 minute drive to any civilization. How, how close is the nearest Starbucks? Bad. Like 25 30 minutes, <laughs> that would bother me. <laughs> so, being a New Yorker, Starbucks was always just a five minute walk from my apartment. So, I can't imagine living 25 minutes away from Starbucks. I know, guys, it's a liberal, I get it, but I'm addicted to their coffee. What can I say? The best part about going to Starbucks is that I like to wear my MAGA hat in there to trigger the liberal employees. It's great, they might be spitting in my coffee, but. You got to see their reactions. I, they're always wearing face masks, so I can only see their eyes, but get a lot of looks of disgust. What is your favorite Halloween candy when you were a kid trick-or-treating growing up? I like when they give you like the big Snickers and the Hershey bars. Like the full-size one. The big full-size ones. Yeah. Kit Kats. Yeah, I was always a fan of Kit Kats and Reese's Pieces. You give me those, when I was a kid, I was a happy camper. Do you ladies come here often? Uh, it's a great restaurant? It's a beautiful restaurant. What is your favorite meal here? I like the filet mignon 
Oh, you fancy. Philly cheesesteak. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very nice. We use the filet mignon when we cut it up. Awesome. And what do you like here? Everything. Everything's good. Everything. Oh, and do you work here? What do you work? We both work here. Oh, you both work here. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> I'm one of the owners. You're one of the owners. Thank you for having us today. My name's Adam. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Kay. Nice to meet you, Kay. We have a benefit coming up for our karaoke guy, Skippy Oki. He got in a very bad accident. Oh, he got hurt. And he doesn't have insurance, so we're trying to give him a benefit. We got a bunch of stuff in there that we've got for sale. It's going to be a silent auction. And then we're going to have food, $10 a plate, and we're going to have fun that day. Skip in action. Skippy Oki. Benefit at auction. Here you go, guys. If you want to support Skip, you guys can come here Saturday, October 9th. Old Scoop Bar and Grill. Right off the highway, guys. So you can just pull off the highway, come to this restaurant. Got the American flag right there and those beautiful land. It's gorgeous. And the porch out here is dog friendly, so you can bring your dogs out here, have a nice meal. Yeah. So this is the uh, this is the old school bell, and if you ring it, you got a uh, round for everybody. And right now it's just me and Katie, so I'm gonna do it real quick. What? Just pull it. Does this actually pull? No. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it this way. <laughs> here we go, guys. That's a round on Adam. So round make sure you donate me. through super chat so that I can afford this round. Otherwise, I'm gonna be living on the street. <laughs> what? <laughs> so there's the name of the Holly Hillbilly Wood Chimes. Nice. I just gave them my uh, golden hundred for good luck. Right here, got prime real estate. Go, we got that good food out here. Texas sliders. There's their ham and chicken. Nice. Balls. Chicken balls. This is here is a real good Vidalia barbecue sauce like, and this is the ranch. Thank you so much. Mm, okay. Very nice. Sliders. There you go. That looks good. Yeah. Best part of Benel. The best part of Benel is you have space. Your neighbors aren't on top of you. Right. You can park your truck in the driveway, unlike the home coast, and the areas around you. Yep. So, uh, and a lot of freedom, a lot of good people, and, you know, simple life. And what's your, what's the part of Bunnell you don't like the most? The least favorite part of Bunnell is there's some leftovers, some, uh, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be nice and call them rednecks. <laughs> uh, they're below that, but they're just... <laughs> Methods. Methods. That's a good one. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Methods and losers and people that don't work and people that live off social security when I have more disabilities than they do, but I, I don't think I need to collect that for my disabilities. Right. So, I hear that. And I've got, you know, I've got a, a ladder in my neck here. I got a ladder down there. They have, you know, and all stuff, and I still work. You smoke weed. I smoke weed. Yeah. And he still works. That's the best part. So that's the thing. Like the cost of living here is so low, you can literally live off the government. And it'll cover all of your bills. Am I right? Like you don't have. I don't live off the government. Not you, but I'm saying yeah. these the people out here that are taking yeah, advantage. Yeah, yeah, it's cheaper than bond books. They make what? Twelve hundred a month from from unemployment. I have no idea. Whatever it is, and they can just yeah. afford to live out here. Yeah. And they can just live off the, the 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 teat of the government. What are your thoughts on my hat? Make America great again. Yeah, man. That's cool. You like that hat, right? I like that hat. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right, so you uh, you watch my channel. Yeah, I, uh, I watched your uh, show, the one for the uh, country store where you drive through. Yeah, that's so cool. Do you go there a lot? Yeah. That place yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Well, let me shake your hand. Thank you for uh, supporting me by watching my channel. Not a problem. Well, so this guy right here, this is his company. If you guys need to do some moving, you need some haulers, rent let us real. pull up your junk. Rent yeah, if you got to rent stuff. You beat U-Haul's pricing? He beats their equipment. Better equipment, better prices. Let us pull your junk. There you go. Right on. So your wife made the sign. My wife designed the sign. It's amazing. Yeah. We're gonna go check it out. Let me get a close look. So his wife designed this beautiful, beautiful sign right here. Gorgeous. Well, hi, I'm. She's taking up. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Hi, I'm. That's right. Let me, let me get this guy too. Cheers. Cheers. Great to meet you. Yeah, great to meet you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Patriots. I have the sign. Cheers. Pound it. And he put his hand over the phone. Here we go. So we're at the Benel Country Store. I'm with my friend here. You're probably the only Indian yep. in the whole area. Yep. And I'm probably the only Mexican in the whole area. Am I right? Yeah, you're very from. 
I'm from New York City. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm from the big city. What do you, what is it like working out here? You, you like working in Bunnell? You like the people out here? Oh, a lot of people come here. Okay. Are they good people out here? Some are yeah. good, some are bad. Some good, some bad. <laughs> Welcome to Bunnell. So you're Indian also? Yes, sir. Awesome. How do you like working out here in Bunnell? Uh, it's cool though, you're pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. How do you feel about the people? They're fun? Yeah, some people are aggressive, some are like sweet. <laughs> Like, the, the meth heads are aggressive, yeah, right? Yeah, the meth heads, yeah. The meth heads, yeah. Aggressive. I've heard there are a lot of meth heads out here, so, you know, i got to be careful about that in Bunnell. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you guys. And we yeah. have a sweet people like you guys. Are Thank you, guys you so Trump much. Trump supporters? Huh? Are you Sorry? Trump supporters? you guys like Trump? Trump? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you like yeah, Trump? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, God bless. Look at me. There we go. Make America great again. <laughs> hey, <laughs> this is how we get in here, so we get a white girl in here. Come here. Come in there. We make it diverse. Yeah, there we go. Super diverse. <laughs>